Look, it's that fake Castlevania game. Hi, welcome back to Banana Runs. <laughs> <laughs> when there's you're, some, there's you, some good ASMR just you know, crunching on some banana yeah, runs. That's what happens when your wife buys yeah. you an entire bag. You mean a bag of <laughs> There used to be a lot more than what's there, too. Jesus. Oh, I'm sure. I, I got a bag of those marshmallows. Uh-huh. Um, it's half gone. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. It so anyway, editing. here's Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. <laughs> this is the 8-bit uh, Bloodstain that they did. It's like the prequel, right? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of like a prequel. I think it's almost like a side story, too. So, Yeah, we're playing on Nando Switch, so we're going to go for it. Uh, are you going to be a cash? I'm going to tell you filthy cash. I am a fucking cash. I'm sorry. That's fine. That's what I would have played it on too. Because look at this. There was once three. a man. I was once a man. It's fucking that's Castlevania. That's, three I don't care scrolling. about the story now. No. Yep. Zangetsu. Yeah. Yep. 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 Uh huh. Great. Yep. Yep. Great. Uh huh. Cover that man was Cover David Hater. Demon. Right? Demon. Demon. Is he David Hater? No. He totally no? is. Yeah. Does he do the snake voice? Have you not played the main game? I never did. No. Oh, you should. It's good. I don't think it's I ever finished this. I haven't finished this either. This is a lot. I think it's a lot harder than the... Yeah, this is very much Castlevania. Yeah. It, well, I it's mean, Castlevania 3 once you get, like, the other characters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Except you can switch on the fly. Yeah. Well, no, you could in Castlevania 3. Yeah, you could. It's been a long time since I played it. But in Castlevania Plus, 3, you could only get one person. Mm, yeah. Like, you had... You, whoever you picked, you just stuck with it. Plus, right. all of these characters that you get and all the bosses and levels are, like stuff that shows up in the main game. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. I knew the other characters were, but I didn't think that the bosses and stuff were. Yeah. No, like don't do it! What? what? I'm gonna get a copyright strike. <laughs> or, hey... Oh, oh, never mind. I'm not even gonna suggest that someone do it. Never mind. Just, I'm not even gonna okay. do it. Okay. <laughs> you just can't say that. No, I can. I Ooh, promise you it's better than I'm leaving this go. Ooh! So that's like, of course, like your holy water. He's so. got his, he's got his snaps. He's got to throw them on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I watched an idiot kid eat one of those one time. He oh. like chewed them. Oh! I feel like I've seen a kid do that too. I thought you were gonna say I, I was the one that did, did it. it. Yeah. No, I, I didn't. Oh, wall cheese! Oh, but if you were that girl, you could, you could roll right oh, under yeah. there. If only you were a girl. Yep. Is it the girl character or is it the other one? No, it's the girl. Yeah. Who's the main character in the main game? Oh, that guy's pointing that way. Yeah, he's like, hey, go this way. Oh, you got that whip. Whip. Why are you putting so much emphasis on the H? Whip. 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 Say cool. Cool. Say I whip. like the whip, whip. sub weapon. Yeah, it's basically like your axe. It's like your. Oh, it does like an up diagonal? Yeah. So the, the main game is more like Symphony of the Night, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. It, and it's it, it's got enough similarities to Symphony of the Night that you're like, okay, this feels really familiar. Right. And then there's a lot of like new stuff. Okay, there it's clearly like Iga doing a lot of new stuff. Okay, like making new enemy designs. There's stuff that's like it's, this is like this is basically Symphony of the Night, or, right? Or like even like yeah, Castlevania One. I, just, one, I so. didn't really know. <clears throat> I didn't really know enough about it because like I'm not. Like, I like Castlevania, but I'm not into it as much as Becky is. So, like, what I know about Castlevania is what I've played of 1, 3, and, like, 10 seconds of Symphony of the Night. Right. Um, but everything else is just what I know from watching Becky play. Look at this skull tower from yeah, Castlevania. Right? Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of enemies, like I said, especially in, like, the first, like, level. They're, like, holy crap, this is basically just, like, a fucking Symphony of the Night. Well, that like background. A, yeah. yeah. What a castle and a moon. What a mansion. Yeah, this this train is like a level that you get to in the main game, but it's like instead of it being at the beginning, it's like halfway through the game. Oh, okay. Is there like an underwater boat section or an <laughs> underground boat section? Yes. There is an underground of. section, but it's more it's like a it's basically like a lava cave. Oh. We have a ship at the beginning of the game. Yeah. There's a, the beginning of the game is like a ship and you show up at the You can't go in that door the on the other side of that room? It was a, if you went the other way. Yeah, oh, it's okay. basically like... Because there's a lot of like... Oh, like paths branching paths? Game. Yeah. Nice. So since you have said this, Tom, that 
I don't know how much of an answer you're going to have, but what is your favorite Castlevania that you've played or at least know of? Out of the ones I've played? Oh, you know what? I, I left out because I, I bought a Japanese copy of Dracula X. That's actually the one Castlevania game that I beat. Really? Yeah. Because I watched Becky, I've watched Becky play both of the PlayStation 2 games, which aren't as bad as everyone says. Wait, which ones? The PS2 games. Oh yeah, I think I, I actually think they're kind of interesting. The uh, the first one where it's like a La fair, Man of Innocence, yeah. where where it's like the origin of Dracula. Oh, shit. Yeah, is my, one of my favorites. The music in that game is delightful. Which one is that? Lament is that the one where you Lament play? of Innocence. Yeah, not the, is that the one where you play as the demon guy? That's the second yes. one. That's, okay. uh, that's the one I really like. That's Curse of Darkness. I also really like Curse of Darkness. Curse of Darkness. I like them both, yeah. but I like Curse of Darkness more just because the whole like demon buddy mechanic is really cool. Yeah. But out of the ones I've played, I like Dracula X the most. Dracula uh, Castlevania 3 is my favorite. Oh, that's um, right. You guys stay in here. Castlevania 3 is my you. favorite. Okay, yeah, Castlevania 3 is my favorite of the NES ones. Yeah. Out of the Super Nintendo ones, though, because I've also played... I've played the American version of Dracula X. We did that on the 1UP Cup when we first started the channel. Yeah. Right. And then I played... I beat the Japanese version of Dracula X because I bought that. And... Uh, what's the one that came in the pack with Symphony of the Night? Uh, Sir, uh, Rondo of Blood. Rondo, Rondo of Blood, Blood yeah. I like but i also hate it's hard as hell it's so fucking hard the yeah. psp 2 2.5d remake of rondo blood is is really good i really? bought that just to play symphony of the night you're so, a fucking pleb. when I, you play that that's when mostly you play why through I bought this again you you can instead instead of Getting Miriam oh, as you can an kill ally, them. you can kill her yeah. and you get like extra powers. There's, oh, really? So you can yeah. like do a double jump and you can like do better slashes and stuff. Huh. Like there are comp there are multiple endings to this game. Like if you have all the partners or if you kill them or if you don't recruit them, like it's it's like how Castlevania Three was. It's like it has different endings depending on what you do to your partners. Gotcha. That reminds me, the isn't the new season of the show by the time this airs, isn't it out already? Um, I heard it's supposed to be the beginning of the year, like January first. So by the time this airs, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know. I, I mean, never. I would assume so. I, I heard that somewhere, but I never really confirmed it. So yeah. Ooh, well, that was a fucking wispy boogin. Season three. I thought I remembered hearing it was like the end of December. Well, that was a thing that was rumored and then didn't. Well, it was December twentieth, and then that didn't happen. Oh, okay. No, not December 20th. Um, like the 12th, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, and then never... that's what I was thinking of. December 20th is um, The Witcher. Gotcha. Oh, yeah. They really made that fucking thing turn around because those first couple of shots of Henry Cavill were fucking yeah. bad. He looks good. Yeah, as of this filming, it has not come out yet. Yeah. This Friday, it will. Way to, also, date. Way to wait, date the episode. Way to date the episode. Yes, I know. I called you, Adam. You called me? No, I called Ando, Adam. Oh. Because I'm an idiot. He's been called worse. Yeah. yeah. He has. Although it depends on how you look at it. <coughs> hey -o, Fuck <laughs> you! Wah, wah, wah. Do hearts in this game actually give you life? Yep. Yes. That's great. Yeah, hearts give you uh, health, and then there's little, like, um, vials or whatever is like the sub weapon thing. Which makes so much more sense. It really does. And the fact that hearts give you fucking items in Castlevania and they haven't changed it is still the most infuriating yeah. fucking thing ever. I yeah, think I remember so first weird. time playing Castlevania 1, like I played for so long, getting annoyed, like frustrated on why I wasn't getting health from the hearts. Yeah. Like I think even at that point, it was well established oh, hearts mean health. Yeah. yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah. But Konami. Yeah. Well, it's not a Plinko it's, machine, so. Yeah, it's not a pachinko. Oh, it's not a Silent oh, yeah. Hill 2 pachinko it's machine, not. so. Oh. That's a crab I don't want to be inside of. <laughs> That's an STD you got, Adam. Also, I like the mechanic in this one because it wasn't. Uh, in Castlevania 3, I, like, after playing this, I wish this was a mechanic in Castlevania 3 that um, if you die as a character, you have, like, a second life as, like... The other character. The other person. Yeah. 
And then when you die as a second person, I think that's that's when the lives count. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the health Can bar, you get the other person back though? Yeah, I think. But uh, you, uh, I don't know. I think you can at the end of a level. I think that's how it works. Um, but I do like that they have shared health. They don't have shared health bars either. Oh, that's cool. really so helps. it's like the turtles game. Yeah. I really need to play that for the channel sometime. But the I first one? The, the Ninja Turtles game? Yeah, the first one. Yeah, the NES one. Yeah. I want to get Everything in that game isn't that hard. After the dam. As soon as you get to the dam, it sucks. And then after that, it's totally fucking fine. I know. And I want to get good at that game because I actually do want to complete that game. I never did. I like that. I know a lot of people shit on that game. No, I like it too. But I like it. That's the top down one, isn't it? Sure. Yeah. Well, no, no the top I'm down in the, the map is top down. That's what I meant. Yeah. The, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. action stages are like side scrollers. Yeah. I hate these guys. I fucking can't stand these guys. Oh. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, if you don't have that sub weapon, they suck. Oh, yeah. I'm sure. Like, if you die and lose this, then you're fucked. I like them in the main game. I think they're kind of cool. Um, Adam, this is the main game because this came out first. Um, it was wait a little <laughs> bit longer while we finished this game. <laughs> yeah, right? This was a cool perk, though. I mean, I do like that they, they did this. So did you only... There is so much shit in that game, too. There is, like, like crazy amounts of stuff that they did. I'm sure. And it took forever, but fuck, I don't Didn't care. did they like, raise, like, $10 million or yeah, something? They raised like, a lot, It was, like, yeah. three or something. It wasn't 10. Oh, really? Plus, with extra stuff, I See, think See, I it thought was... it was, like... I feel I like... I thought it, it was the most well-funded... Wasn't it the the best funded Kickstarter video game at the time? Let me look. Oh, I, no. I I feel maybe I feel like eight's the number I'm thinking of because I feel like three is how much um uh what should we call it, mate? Oh yeah, I forgot about that axe. Oh I, yeah, these guys are cool in the main game too. I think like this and um Shovel Knight are my two favorite like indie games. I'm still waiting on that fucking fight night. Fight night, yeah. That was supposed to come out already, huh? Oh, wow. this is. Oh, I, haven't got I, an, I haven't got an update. They're, in a while. they're, they're still working on it. I know. This turtle, Mister. Ugh. I don't, I don't think I like this. This looks like the one enemy in in Symphony of the Night where that lady's coming out of that weird plant monster. All right. So who wants to take a guess on how much money the the Kickstarter raised? Fifteen million. Ando. Uh, 25 million. Bird? 8 million. Bird probably knows. That's... No. <laughs> I was going to say, he backed this. With so the was... closest without going over... Adam, what did you say? 15. Ando, you said... 25. Okay. The closest without going over is no one. It was five. <laughs> it was five million five hundred forty-five thousand nine hundred ninety-one dollars. I don't know. I really thought it was going to be a sense. lot. I, th I thought I remembered it being a lot more. But I, I don't think that their original goal was that much. Their original goal was like maybe a million. I, I think. think so. Yeah. Fuck. I do but not yeah. have the right sub weapons for this boss. I'm just glad that like. I, mean, I think you almost have it though. I'm glad that like this and Shovel Knight were good for the people that wanted the. You know what I mean? Like for the people that for the Kickstarter games, yeah. Yeah, like, for like people that wanted Shovel Knight, which I was one of them, but yeah. I didn't. I didn't have the opportunity to back it. Um, I'm just glad that these games came out good. Yeah, I'm usually like really wary about like Kickstarter indie games. Fuck. Yeah, because I, I feel you. like you never know if it's ever going to come out or if it's even going to yeah. be good. Yeah. 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 Like. I it, it, it took a long time for this to come out, and I'm, I mean, I'm glad it did, but fuck, man. But I get, I get, like, because, I, like, like, people don't realize, I think the thing about Kickstarter, like, Kickstarting a game, too, is, like, people don't realize how long it actually takes to make a video game. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, like, Fight Night was, like, two or three years ago now, and it still hasn't come out yet, so. Yeah. I just know. Because that was, what, two seasons ago or three yeah. seasons of Yeah, my, ago? my thing has always been... Be patient. Oh yeah. As long as you get it and yeah. it comes out good, then yeah. then so be it. Yeah. But you know, and I don't know if you're gonna realize this this one I'm gonna pull out here, but Mighty Number Nine. No. <laughs> um, that that that's too easy. We Tom. shall not name. That one's too easy. Um, if you guys even remember this one, uh, Papimus Papimus. I don't know that no. one. It was that uh, one Kickstarter. 
and it was gonna it was a it was a beat em up. Okay. And it was at like it was it was marketed that it was gonna come out and it was uh, I don't even know if I'm saying the name of it right. Um, but it was uh, it was marketed that it was gonna come out as the last indie game published on a Sega cart. Uh... And you're like whenever I say this, the ad you're gonna remember. It the ad had nothing but like big buff like final fight guys. Yes, we we watched the trailer yeah. here one night. And I was like it looks amazing and I was so ready to back it. But like some bullshit happened and now it's never happening. Oh. Uh, like the guy that like I think there was like some I don't want to say the guy like took the money and ran, but there's some uh, bullshit behind that where the guy was just like he kind of just like fucked off. Well, there was the, so so Here's what I'll say. Oh, there's your cipher for the game. Yeah, pretty <laughs> much. Um, so so like I I kick I've kickstarted this. I kickstarted Indivisibles, which came out, and both of those were games that took quite a bit of time, but they had people behind them that knew what they were doing, mm -hmm. and I kickstarted both of them for sixty dollars, so I could get a physical copy of the game. Sure, for both of them. And both of them were like, like this, like this had hey, like Alfred. Bloodstain had like a really nice like slip cover to it. Sure. And the one for Indivisibles had like a fucking steel book and like a booklet with it, which was super nice. I think if if you're convinced that the game will eventually come out, then backing it for what you would buy the game for, I think is totally acceptable. Right. Yeah. Now I did have a game that I got fucked on, and it still might come out, but it's been so long that I'm like. I, I doubt that it is. Mm -hmm. It was basically it, it was basically like a like a nine 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 or like a Virtue's Last Reward clone, where it's like a visual novel. Oh, I forgot about this one. Yeah, and it's called. Uh, it was called Quantum Suicide, and yeah. it was basically like you're in space, and there's all these like men and women, and you can like. It was like, oh, you can like romance whoever you want, but there, like, anyone could die. There's like an AI that's like taunting you, and I spent like a hundred dollars. You can even it. romance the AI. No, I just like that Adam like slowly looked at me while this conversation was happening. <laughs> And so what? It just never came out. Oh, of uh, course. Well, the, no. The guy, the guy basically said, uh, "I'm getting divorced, and my wife is taking half my assets, and she's trying to like take money from this Kickstarter." Oh, geez. so it is, was like in Australia, and it was all this other shit. And now the guy's like, "Well, I'm like trying to come back again, so we'll see if we." And he'll like post updates of like, "Hey, who's your husband or your wife?" Who I'm like, I really just want this game so I can like, ha like. My like hundred dollars isn't a fucking waste, right? Like I'm not like the like like super pissed off about it, but it's like just kind That's of still annoying. a lot of money. Yeah. There's also a lot that I like tried to kickstart and it just like didn't go anywhere. Oh really? Yeah, it just it didn't get funded or whatever. Oh okay. Well, I mean you don't really lose anything. Yeah. I think the only there was one Kickstarter that I tried I was gonna back. And that was the one where it was like, oh, we're gonna, we're gonna bring back the like, Aki style wrestling game. Oh. oh. And then like everybody was posting about how the guy that was making it like was kind of sketchy. Yeah. And like he had tried to back a different game, like he tried to get a different game backed, and it didn't go well or something. And there was some something sketchy about it, and I was like, as much as I want this. Well, that's like, um, it, honestly, like when they when Swery was doing the the Kickstarter for the Good Life, like I, I was almost like, yeah, this is a little sketch, man. I'm not sure I want to fund it. It's like the first time around, he wanted like a million bucks, and it like just didn't get funded. And then he asked for like way less, and finally people were like, okay, we're gonna like, and it got funded, and it was like a little over what he asked for. And I think he got right around what, like, what he asked for the first time. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't, like, the worst. But it was one of those, like, I don't know if this is actually going to happen. Yeah. And it's one of those, like, I, I, it, it's one of those I wouldn't have even kickstarted it if, because I think that was, I think that was even Indiegogo the first time. It oh, was really? at first, yeah. Yeah. And I think, 
I think the second time, I, I, I don't even think it was like the pitch was bad. I, I think it was just that he had, he didn't market it well. I, I think he asked no. for a little too much. And I think with certain certain games and certain developers, I think there's like a, a, a nice asking point. Like this is like every like name a person who hasn't played a Castlevania game. Right. Somewhere. Right. So like, but like asking like, like there's a lot of people who are like, okay, Swery's making a game. I want to back this because it's fucking Swery. Right. But like, there's a lot of people that are like, I don't know who the fuck he is, and it's a game with cats. Like, why do I care? Right. So you have to sell it a little bit. Right. But those people that are like, okay, this is the guy. Right. Where you're like, oh shit. And by the way, um fucking sweary posted a picture of him and Suda and yeah. Shinji Mikami, Mikami yeah, drinking together. Yeah. And I'm like, this is the fucking best picture ever. Yeah. This like, just fills me with fucking joy. Fucking sweary just keeps like fucking adding layers of being awesome. Oh, yeah. Where you're like, no, but now, oh, who's he with this week? Oh, he's just more like, people uh, I love. He's just like a drunk, alcoholic Japanese nerd, and it's like the coolest shit ever. <laughs> like, I love him. And that fucking trailer with the with the god with the oh, goddamn, superhero. goddamn superhero. Goddamn superhero. Oh, fucking, That's the background of my PC right now. I was right fucking now. harder was... than a fucking birch tree when I saw that trailer. <laughs> god damn, was that so fucking good? Oh god. It really a, was. I have it was never so heard good. That before I don't know how. Oh. Uh, it was like the best, mm -hmm. and I didn't know I didn't know it was coming at all. I'm like, what is this? I'm so intrigued. And then the fuck, then the hit and he a coin slides. Boss? No, he just the, wait. He does the fucking Akira oh. slide out of the fucking. Oh, it was so good. Fucking Scrooge McDuck boss fight over here. Pretty much. This kind of reminds me of the Pope fight from fucking <laughs> Blasphemous. I still, I like. Oh shit! God, you're fucked. I always just need her. She jumps higher. Yeah. That's a, that was another thing I was gonna mention that all characters have like their different traits, and oh, that's right, I forgot you can actually hit that. It's like kind of the point this boss fight. Like if you notice when he was playing as Alfred, his like health bar is a little bit lower, but uh, he has like yeah. fucking the best magic attacks in the game. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, yeah. I really like this boss fight. Yeah, it's neat. It's a lot different in the main game, but it's also like oh, this way... comes back. Oh yeah, all these bosses come back. They're a lot different. There's still like a, a coin stacking thing where you have to like jump on coins, but it's not quite the same. Uh, the train one happens on the train, and you 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 you're in that boss fight. It's basically like a team up with Zengetsu, like halfway through the game. Spoiler does, alert! But you team up with him. Does this does this have like the how the bosses have like the one like desperation move, like the final hit? Do they the, have that this, in the other this one? This does, no. It doesn't in the main game. Okay. No, I knew this one does. I just didn't know if the other one did. No, not as far as I know. Some of them might. There's one boss that does, like, kind of. I was going to say, you stood right under that. Yeah, I, I, I totally did. Look out for that swamp boogin. Slap his shit. Slap his shit. Slap his shit. I was say, this thing got to be dead by now. We gotta be close. Oh, so close! I can. There, there we go. go. Watch out! Oh yeah. Just switch to someone else. There you go. I like the change. Yeah, that's pretty neat. It kind of reminds me of the one boss fight in Dark Souls Three. Which one? The giant skeleton. Uh, that's what this area reminds me yeah. of. I fucking hate I'm gonna say boss. this. It's Dark easy, Souls though. 2 has my favorite boss boss name, but the dumbest bot fight boss fight ever. Better which chaos? Is the, no. <laughs> no, that's Dark Souls 1. <laughs> yeah. Royal Rat Authority. Oh yeah, yeah. It's a dumb fight. Yeah, it is real stupid. Alright, well this has been Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. Thanks for watching. We'll see you at another time for more things. If you want to see more of this game, let us know in the comments below. Or if you'd like to see the main game. I'll yeah. play that. I'll play that again. That game was fun as shit. Give us, give us a thumbs up and look at the Patreons. <laughs> the Patreons. I'm sorry, the what? The Patreons. Yes. Okay. I'll say it with the same inflection on the wrong syllable. Goodbye. It's Jeebel.